All right, guys, and welcome to yet another Genoa Beer Pro uh, career mode. Yeah, um, I said that wrong. It should have been Beer Pro with Beer Pro, beer pro career mode with Genoa. Um, yeah, but anyway, I don't know if you can hear them. You probably can. They're being right loud. I've got birds just outside my window. I've stupidly left it open. And yes, they are being incredibly loud. And I don't know if my microphone is picking up. I think it has done in the past. So I'm just pre warning you now, you know, that. You may hear a shotgun sound in a bit if I decide to kill them. So, yeah. Um, anyway, happy Father's Day to anybody that has got kids out there and is probably watching this. Although, you're probably not. I, I can't see why you'd want to spend your Father's Day watching a Be a Pro career mode with Genoa with me commentating. I, yeah, I, I don't understand why you would. But anyway, um, we'll move on to the first game, which is against Lee's. And as you can see, annoyingly, the scoreboard and everything has not appeared yet again. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen in the next two games. But yeah, um, in the 35th minute, I I put it into the lead. It was a pretty decent goal. Like I kind of turned the defence and then I finessed it into the far corner. It's great having the finesse trait. It's just it, it works so many wonders. It's just unbelievable. And then I was messing about there in, in my own half doing a bit of skill, and I, and I just found a gap and I just absolutely stormed up through the middle and then turned the defender again and just like the first goal, finessed it into the far corner just as the birds just again just sit outside my window and just shout their heads off it's, it's I, I, I'd be amazed if my microphone hasn't picked it up and then moving on to the second half we broke through on goal and I was thinking just sweat it just sweat it out just sweat it out the computer doesn't sweat it out though and it's a good job I didn't sweat it out because we did end up scoring anyway Maxi Lopez in the 67th minute making it 3 0 us and then I started to piss about in defence and what an idiot I was because he completely nicked the ball off me and they did end up scoring so yeah and um, that was a bit stupid for me what an absolute twat for doing that and then the exact same twat gave the ball away and tried to recover but couldn't recover and yeah they they ended up going 3-2 down so Christian Paulsen in the 77th minute I was thinking oh god please don't say that they're going to come back and I've, con I've conceded two of the goals basically but no fortunately they didn't because we got into another attack I got the ball outside of the area and I got my hat trick with yet another finish shot so yeah fortunately I'd managed to recover myself and redeem myself almost for being an absolute idiot and giving away the ball twice for them to get the two goals. So yeah, it did finish at least two Genoa 4, which was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. And I'm really starting to enjoy playing with Genoa. It's, it's just... I don't know the team. We seem to have a lot of possession in comparison to last season. We've got so many good players that are around me. I like the formation. I like where I'm playing. So yeah, I'm really starting to enjoy this and get into it. And as you can see, I did get a 9.10 rating, which is pretty decent. And then obviously the only two shots on target were their goals. And for us, we just absolutely hammered them. 10 shots, 9 on target. So yeah, before we go into the next match against Kegliari, I mean, just look at that. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. It's like, what? Exact same home kits. What is going on? So now I did decide to obviously put them in the away kit. I wasn't going to be an idiot and play both of us in the exact same kit. And yeah, we'll move on into the action now. And just you know, just showing you a bit of stupid stuff. I mean, let's see a replay of that. I've I've never seen this before on FIFA actually. I mean, obviously I've seen it on YouTube videos, but my FIFA doesn't seem to do it that much. So I was quite surprised when it first did it. But anyway, um, on to the more important stuff. And those birds best shut up. <laughs> I got a goal in the 21st minute this time and it finessed it. I just slammed it low and hard in off the post. And yeah, we went 1-0 up. I was feeling quite confident, thought we might be able to go and get one or two more goals. But no, I was in co completely incorrect and Cagliari came back at us and I had to do some defending. And as you can see, I was defending quite well. I was charging the defence about and I was winning the ball. I was winning tackles. And then again, in the 57th minute, I won the ball here, as you were about to see. Nicked it off his feet and then I made a massive storming run upfield. I'll just fast forward it now. And yeah, um, unfortunately it didn't come to anything as my shot was blocked and then the rebound was a header and yeah, it went past the post. But yeah, um, that seemed to be the end of the game basically. I mean, nothing really else happened apart from that. They, they really did pressure us and, you know, we did well to not concede a goal. And yeah, it was a well... Well earned 1 0 win, so yet another three points. I got an 8.8 .8 rate, and I was feeling really good um, going into the game, a really big game against Napoli. I was looking forward to this so much, I was thinking, come on, this could be our game, and it was our game. And I will tell you now, guys, I wasn't great at all in this game, but my team, and it's the first time I've ever been on Be a Pro, and my team's really been there for me, if you like. I mean, as you can see in the 11th minute, we didn't start off great, we gave away a penalty, and Edison Cavani did step up. To take the penalty after, I think it was probably Galapa, because it, it does show him there. It doesn't always show the correct person there. So yeah, as I said, Edison Cavani did step up to take the penalty, and he did score the penalty. So they did go one 0 up in the twelfth minute. I was thinking, all right, okay, now we need to really get back and see if we can, you know, find an equaliser almost immediately. Because 
Napoli could easily go to and look if we're not careful. And we did almost find an equaliser. I won a penalty in the 20th minute. Um, but unlike last season, it wasn't me that was taking it. It was Petric, I think. He stepped up. Yeah, it was Petric. Step up and take the penalty. And I was thinking, if you miss, I will kill you. And he missed. And I wasn't best pleased at all. So, yeah, when we came back in the 32nd minute, I lost the ball in the, in the box. But fortunately, it just fell to Maxi Lopez, who turned on the who uh, who had a shot on the turn managed to get into the bottom corner i'm not really sure how he scored that one he's just he's got about three defense yeah i don't know how that's gone in and then i wasn't even involved in this attack and again i was thinking just sweat it just sweat it didn't sweat it but it did end up falling to him and we went 2-1 up in the se second half 65 minutes gone petrich redeeming himself for the penalty miss and then I was like right okay now we've got the lead against Napoli we cannot throw this away let's not throw this away let's defend 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 and unfortunately as I tried to make a last minute attack um, to get a third I did pull up with an injury but fortunately I can carry on and that's really good because obviously the last season I got loads of injuries this season I'm getting injuries during games but I, they don't seem to be stopping me from you know um, coming out of the uh, future games if you, that makes sense so yeah as you can see it finished Napoli 1 Genoa 2 and like I said I didn't have a great game at all I got a 6.4 rating but my team really you know stood firm defensively they were great after the conceding the first goal and attackingly they managed to get goals without me really being in the attack so that's really good to see and yeah as you can see we are currently 8th in the table after 7 games I'm really hoping to see, to see if we can push on for Europe it would be an amazing finish if we can get into Europe and it may make me consider staying at Genoa rather than you know club hopping if you like um which is what i was planning on doing so yeah as always guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like if you have enjoyed this episode and yeah watch out for i hopefully hopefully will be able to get another episode out tomorrow i do apologize for not getting one out yesterday it's just the way things happen you know what i said um so yeah anyway guys as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next episode see you later guys peace out